Hey, what's going on, you guys? Anyway, you guys, this channel is your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. Today, we got one for Fire Force Season 2, Episode 16, where we basically still got the triple threat match going on. But the thing is changing because alliances are being formed, and alliances are being formed to face people who. <laughs> Who caused their own problems? If I if I can say, episode starts off dope. We have uh, Hamea and Arrow going up against uh, Maki and um, the the other robot shit. So Arrow was doing a thing, but Arrow's biggest flaw is close range combat, and you see that very quick with Maki because my it wasn't close. Maki was beating a hell out of her, okay? It's, it's like, she's like, yeah, I have to get away. And then, of course, I'm here to help her. And she's like, dude, like, what are you doing? Like, you're like, you like, you're really, like, supposed to be protecting me. And she, and, and then we find out, like, well, not find out. I think we already kind of knew it. It's like they're paired with certain people for a reason. And, like, Arrow's like, well, you. Caron is your guardian, like he's your protector, like you know, you going off, you know what I'm saying, kind of like throws things off. She's like, yeah, I don't want to hit that, you know what I'm saying, either get right or I'm going to kill you. Uh, she like even, something happened when she gets attacked uh, and like her clothes start to come off. I just be like, eh, that's fire for us, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but she, uh, Arrow stays back to try to hold off. Uh, the robot, I, I, I just have to call it the robot, the, the Dominion, that's what it's called, it's called Dominion, I want to say, is that what it was called last episode? Listen, people, I am very tired, so, I'm, if I miss up something, if I miss up a name or something, give me a break. But anyway, yeah, uh, Arrow stays back to fight the Dominion and, um, and Maki, while Hamea goes and completely screws everything up. You had... Caron, because it's Caron. I heard, I heard him say Caron. Uh, and it was, I always say Sharon. Because that's just me. That's uh, C uh, C H. I'm always gonna say Sharon or Charon. But it's Caron. Uh, either way, go. We see he doing this thing. Walk, snap. Like he is. I'm telling you, bro. Like the dude probably one of the coolest anime characters I've ever seen in my life. And he just going in. Also, Colonel is just. He's trying to fight Iris and Tommy. He's trying to fight Iris and Tommy here, like because he's like, oh, they the weak ones. Arthur gets in his way. He's like, dude, you're pretty pesky. Like, I, I just want to fight the weak people. I thought like he says it, and like, but at the same time, like he uh, he uh, like you know, like join the action. But no, no, he, no, no, he definitely only wants to fight weak people. Um, and we see it in this episode. You get a call from his boss. Mid fight, mid fight. This is after uh, Ritsu uses her ability where she's able to turn. Well, after, after she turns someone into an infernal, uh, she's able to fuse them with someone else and create a bigger infernal. And she was she stuffed uh, uh, Nautico, Nautico inside of it. And I don't know exactly what was going to happen when she turned it, when she put him in there. I don't know what was the process going to be. But Hamea ended up messing with his head, and then it like kind of like triggered his PTSD. And, and well, it's it's uh, his PTSD been been pretty bad, but like it's on like ten right now. You know what I'm saying? Was Hamea played with his head, and so now he's using his powers, and it's, it's harder. And like they have his his blast like radiation like field, so it's even tougher to like combat him. And that's when Kurano gets the call from his boss. Like, hey, man, what are you doing? <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, I just want to fight the weak ones. Like, I'm pretty sure his boss like, dude, fight, get the kid. Take care of the kid. Like, however, okay, we can't let this, we can't let this go. <laughs> and he he tells uh, Shinra, like, hey, I'm going to team up with you. And I was just like, in most situations, I'd be like, that dude is a, was a whole horrible person. You don't want to team up with him. But I'm like, in that situation, I, you 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 take care of business and then, like, hey, you fight for the kid afterwards. You know what I'm saying? You save the kid and then you fight for him afterwards, okay? Well, she was doing all the fighting. 
Kuro just realized, like, hey, this guy is very, very strong. Nope, he's very, very, very strong. <laughs> it's time for me to get a new job. Like, he legit, like, was about to quit right there on the spot just because of how strong the kid was. And he don't like fighting strong people. Um, now, she was about to get attacked, but Karan stepped... Uh, Karan steps in the, in, in the way and like absorbs the blast and sends it back because he says his job is also to protect the pillars. If Shinra dies, that kind of still if even one of the pillars dies, that messes up their plans. Okay, so he's protecting Shinra, and so they had you know, like to, to like basically go in, in the battle. Uh, Arthur, Arthur is the weirdest dude. Him and this damn night complex were. And Vulcan's trying to like deceive him the best he can to, to where he get the best use out of Arthur because the more he's into the story, the stronger he is. Like he gets incredibly OP once uh he's really like into a story. And this one, he was in it for a little bit, but he was still kinda like, eh. but eventually <laughs> eventually it started working. And like he was like it, <laughs> he got the mojo going. Okay, I guess I would say, uh, because he put the sword in the stone, and Vulcan was like, oh, "You gotta, uh, you gotta, you gotta put the sword in. Then you gotta put it out. It's gonna be legendary." And then he started shaking the just like, "Hey, it's a, it's a serpent trying to get away from you." It's, of course, that like disrupts Hamea's power when she like, hey, "I have to get rid of him," but she can't because uh, the Dominion's chick and uh, Tomkia are still on her ass. Uh, boy, it is a lot happening. Inca is still there, which I don't like Inca. Inca said somebody was going to die. And I'm kind of wondering who will it be? Will it be? Because somebody's actually all, technically when she said that, it's like, you can take it as like, well, somebody's going to die. Because the security guard technically died. You know what I'm saying? He just out there. I, what was he doing outside? I have no idea. I, I get that he's a security guard, but like, dude, do you see what's happening out here? This is not your field, okay, bud? But, uh, <laughs> anyway, go. They, I think the conclusion of this arc, no, there's still like two more episodes. We have 17, 18. I know the arc goes from episode 14 to 18. But, um, uh, we, we like entering that climax because now these, three, all three of them have to team up. To like get the uh, free Nautico, which is weird considering the fact that Ritsu is the one who put him in there. So I don't know. Maybe they're going to explain something because it seems like if, if I'm the white clad, I'm like, hey, we, we, we like, we, we, what are we doing? Okay, we're, we're supposed to be communicating better than this. Like, we get we you put him in there, I'd like make him leave or something, you know what I'm saying? Like we our job was to capture him. Like uh, I feel like y'all just make it I would be I would be the person like y'all I feel like y'all just making this do stuff, okay? Like unnecessary stuff. We supposed to be on teams, but why am I fighting him? And, and you did it. Like I'm looking at Rich too, like you did this. And Hamea, I'm like, you did that. Fix it. I'm not I'm not I'm not damn it. Y'all fix it. Oh, uh, but yeah, you guys never know what you thought about the episode down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys stay safe and I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.